All right, so I know I shouldn't probably be starting this video like that and that probably most of you are gonna click off right after you hear this, but you just gotta hear how this keyboard sounds. Hello from Italy guys! In case you don't know, I've moved countries in the past like 3 or 4 weeks and I've been super busy with so many things but I'm finally back to reviewing super nice gadgets like this amazing keyboard here. Now this is the Leobo High 75 and it's one of the most interesting boards that I've seen only because of how it sounds. Now this board here is Nothing exceptional when it comes to price, actually it's one of the cheaper boards, it's around $80. So today I will be talking about why this keyboard is amazing and what exact configuration I use to make it sound as good as it does. So make sure to stick until the end and let's get right into it. The unboxing experience is one of my favorites so far and I really like that presentation. The smaller box behind are the keycaps I got, but you can get yourself any type of keycaps really. Just make sure that you get some nice quality ones as that contributes to the sound more or less. And now pay attention to these switches, they are actually the Vertex V1 and they are fairly expensive at around $30 to $40. I'm gonna leave here a screenshot with some mumbo jumbo for all these uh, nerds out there who want to know exactly what type of switch that is. Needless to say I absolutely love them. And as for the keycaps, well, they are pretty nice even though I might replace them for some see-through ones later on because I really can see the RGB with these. Now this is a full aluminium gasket keyboard and unfortunately it's wired only so no wireless support here but it comes with this nice uh, braided and coiled cable which I'm uh, a real fan of. The Leobo Kai 75 costs around 80 to 90 dollars for the bare bones kit and you have to purchase your switches and keycaps separately but being a hot swap board gives you plenty of choice so you don't have to go with the Vertex V1, you can literally put any switch, I just really wanted to replicate the sound of the keyboard that I heard before and so the design of this keyboard is simple and clean and I really love this small astronaut here as well as the knob that makes a nice clicky sound when you rotate it. And the back of the board doesn't have legs because it's already elevated by default, which some people might like, some people might not. I always like my keyboard elevated, so it's not an issue for me. Being an aluminum board, it weighs around 1 kilogram and a half, so feel free to use it as a weapon, it will definitely hurt. <laughs> now, before we continue, I would like to quickly mention the sponsor of this video, Fast Comet. Now, Fast Comet is a hosting company that you can use to create your own websites from blogs to shops to literally any type of project that you might have and I know that because I'm using them myself. They offer an amazing 24-7 customer and technical support that you can rely on. They are cheaper than most bigger hosting companies out there like GoDaddy, SiteGround and Bluehost. So make sure to give them a try from the link in my description below and that way you can also support me as a creator. Now, let's get back into the video. But what makes this board sound so great? Well, multiple things actually. There are 5 layers of padding and a special plastic positioning plate that makes all of this possible. And now combine that with the switches that I got plus the keycaps and you got yourself a really nice combo. And all of that for just under $150 I think is, is just a steal. But let's move on to the software. Alright, so about the Leobox software, I honestly like what they did with it. The keyboard has a nice gaming chip inside of it with anti-ghosting on every key and a very low response time especially if you turn the debounce setting to stage 1 where the keyboard should be the fastest at around 4 to 5 milliseconds of response time and even lower sometimes. The knob on the keyboard is multifunctional and out of the box it is lit up all the time and you can twist it to change the volume or mute, but if you press and hold the knob you will go into gaming mode which will make the knob breathe slowly and twisting it will control the RGB brightness. There are your regular settings here for controlling the keyboard like creating macros or assigning different keys to do different stuff. 
There are multiple RGB effects, which I cannot see because of these keycaps I got, unfortunately. <laughs> Nevertheless, plenty of RGB effects. And there is your macro editing panel, which you can use to create macros. You can do literally anything with this board since it's also fast, but I would leave that to you. And probably the coolest feature of this keyboard is that it can actually change the RGB depending on the sound. So if you have some cool music playing in the background, it will definitely catch it up and display it with these various RGB effects. And I know other keyboards also have this feature, but this one just has so many options that you can choose from. So that's what I like. Alright, so this concludes my review for today guys, I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that you like this keyboard, I definitely love this one so much and if you want to check another keyboard video then this is the Apple Maker TH80X, an amazing wonderful keyboard, you can check the video right here, so yeah, thank you so much for watching, have a wonderful day, bye bye!